Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video, I want to give you a review of the email marketing tool drip.co. So drip is an email marketing tool from lead pages and it's much more advanced than the other email marketing tools in the market. So let me log in into my account and take you around the different features of drip.co. So drip used to be at getdrip.com before and they are still retaining the same domain name once you log in. So here I am in the dashboard and let me start with drip.js. So there is something called site setup and there is something called drip.js and it's a JavaScript that you place on all the webs uh, all the pages of your website. So here is the JavaScript code which is placed on my website. And what drip does is that it tracks all the visitors and it also tracks how many people end up as subscribers to the site. So I get around 5.1% of my visitors as subscribers. And this is basically driven from the exit pop-up that I have on my site. You might have seen the exit pop-up while you have browsed my website for the first time, or if you click on this link, this link also captures the name and email ID of the subscribers. So whatever happens on my website comes directly into drip, the subscriptions. And if you look at campaigns, so the free digital marketing course is the main campaign here. And you can see there are 1417 subscribers for this free digital marketing course. So one of the most interesting aspects of drip is the automation feature. So what you could do is that you can go ahead and create different automation rules and send behavior based emails. So for example, here I will show you one of the automation that I have created. So what I do is that I track people if they have visited my consultancy page and about me page and I tag them accordingly. So that is done under rules section. So here you can see red consultancy page. So if someone reads the consultancy page, then they are automatically tagged with this tag, which says red consultancy page. And if someone has read the consultancy page, this tag is applied. And if this tag is applied, this workflow is triggered. And what happens is that I wait for 15 minutes and I also check if they have so if they have read the about me page to check if they are really interested in my consulting services because someone who is really interested in my consulting services would definitely go ahead and read about me as well. So then I wait and send mail uh, at 11 a.m. either on the next day or on the same day depends on at what time these actions have happened and then I send a personalized mail asking them whether they are interested in my consulting services. So if someone is still considering um, hiring me as a consultant, but has not taken this step, it would be easier to convert them by actually asking them by proactively asking them this. And then this workflow is ended. So exit this workflow. So I will go back to workflows and I will show you how to create a new workflow. So I click on new workflow and let's say this is test workflow, create workflow. So here I have to define a trigger. So trigger can be any of these things. It can be visited a page. It can be applied a tag, can be removed a tag, made a purchase, submitted a form. So usually in most of the cases, it would be when a tag is applied. I wouldn't recommend using a visited a page or clicking on a trigger link because for that you could go ahead and create separate tags as well. So the system is so comprehensive that you can use this system in multiple different ways to achieve the same action. So let's say applied a tag and let's say I am starting this particular workflow if someone has read the about me page. So this workflow starts when someone has read the about me page and gets this tag applied. And then I can add more actions here. So it can be an action decision, fork in fork, goal, delay or exit the workflow. So if it is a decision 
I can check if a particular person meets a certain criteria or not. So let's say I am checking if this particular person has bought my FB Ads Mastery course. And then if it is yes, I can do a different workflow and if it is no, I can do a different workflow. So that's how workflows work and Drip has a free account which you can experiment with and you could go ahead and sign up and first 100 subscribers are free. You could go ahead and create these automations and learn how the system works and until you actually do it, you will not understand how the system works. And then you have analytics, you have split testing functionality. So I am split testing from names and send timings. So delivery timing test number one, I am testing uh, 11 a.m. and 10 a.m. So you can see that 11 a.m. obviously is performing better. So 43% open rate when I am sending emails at 11 a.m. So these are campaign mails, which are basically drip mails, the lessons which go out every two days. And then you have broadcasts. So broadcasts are basically one time mails that you send to the entire subscriber list. Next, I want to show you how lead scoring activity works. And here is one subscriber that I have. And if I go ahead and click on lead score activity, you can see all the activities that this particular subscriber has done to eventually get a lead score of 131. So lead scoring is basically important when you have a lot of leads and you cannot prioritize which leads to focus on. So if you are calling your leads to sell something or basically if you want to kind of find out which subscribers are the most active subscribers, lead scoring helps a lot. So here you can see that uh, for every email open, they get one point and for every link click, uh, they get uh, three points. So this particular subscriber has opened the same email multiple times. So many points he has got because of that. So here you can see if a particular subscriber has clicked on a link, it gives three points for that. And I can go ahead and set up custom lead scores as well based on different actions. And you can see these are the different tags which has been applied for this particular subscriber. If I go ahead and check all activity, then I can see all the activity that this particular subscriber has done since the beginning. So this particular subscriber came into my website. They subscribed via the exit pop-up. Then they received the confirmation mail, visited a few pages on my website, uh, confirmed my, uh, confirmed their email ID to receive my course, clicked on a trigger link. So all this activity I can see under subscribers. So in most of the email marketing tools, it is not this intuitive and this easy to kind of track all the subscriber activities and drip.co has really done a good job at it. So then you have forms, you can create forms on your website, but I would recommend some other tools such as opt-in monster, which I use to collect the leads from the website and put it into drip. So then you have reports, you can have metrics, you can have subscriber go growth. So let's go ahead and check it. Uh, what subscriber growth has to offer. So this is a subscriber growth over time and you have many other metrics like this. So that's about it. And you could read my article that I recently published on my blog to learn more about drip and all the features that drip offers. So that's it for this review. And thanks for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video.